All right, and so in this type of problem, we have, um, it says to fund the periodic payment needed to attain the future value of the annuity. And here, because it says annuity, again, I pull out the annuity formula. But this time, it's a little different than the typical problems because it wants you to find the periodic payment. So in this formula, which variable is the periodic payment? It was the capital R. So this time we are given the future value is 7,000, so that's A. The rate is 3.2%, so that's R. Compounded, it's four times a year, so that means that four times a year that periodic payment will be made. So that's N, quarterly equates to four times a year, once a quarter. And the time is over five years, so this is T. So now I've got all my variables except the one that I'm looking for. So I'm going to plug them in. So I'm going to say 7,000 for A is equal to R again writing this as a decimal move the decimal two places to the left and drop the percent sign over n raised to the n times t subtract one this whole thing over R divided by N. Now, I need to find R. So I've got R times this whole parenthesis here divided by this. So what I could do is I can separate R. It's R times this. It's the same thing. I didn't change anything. It's just the same thing. I just put it out in front. And now if I could find the value, I'm going to look, I'm going to put this into my calculator, this whole thing. I'm going to find the value of this number. So let's pull over my calculator. And so I'm going to take, let me see if I can. Pull the screen down a little bit so I can see what I'm putting in. I'm going to put two sets of parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.032 um, divided by 4. Close the parenthesis, raise it to the 4 times 5 power, or 20 you could write. Then right arrow over, subtract 1, close that uh, outside parenthesis. Now divide it by 0 0.032 divided by 4. Close the denominator parenthesis. Hit enter. So this whole thing that I circled in the blue is 21.5955. And so again, don't round at the end. Round, I mean, don't round right now. Round everything at the end. So let me write what I have here. I have 7,000 is equal to R times this whole thing that I found is the number 21.59550543. And you have to be careful when you're entering this. One incorrect plus sign, minus sign, forgetting a parenthesis um, will make it different. So you have to be very careful and precise, making sure that you look um, as you're doing it. Forgetting a zero, putting the decimal in the wrong spot, 
those are all going to cause errors. So that's why I say always take a look back at the screen and this. Um, enter it slowly. Now, whenever I have R, a variable times something, and I want to solve for this variable, I do the opposite of multiplication. Opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by this number. Um, that will get me R by itself. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other to keep the equation balanced. So pulling back over my calculator, I'm going to put in 7,000. and then divide, and then I'm going to retype this answer. Now, if it is on the previous line, what I can do, if your calculator has an ANS, which you see right here, you can hit second, answer, and that will pull down the prior answer, just one prior. So if that's your previous answer, um, you can hit second, this negative sign, and it will pull that down. So you don't have to retype it and if, you know, um, possibly make an error when you're retyping it. So hit enter and I get this amount. And now I want to round this to the nearest cent. So the nearest cent is right here. Look one over, uh, less than five. Keep this the same and um, just get rid of those digits to the right. So here my periodic payment would be 324 dollars and 14 cents that is what is r is equal to so this divides out leaves you with just r here's my periodic payment that means that i make this payment four times a year for five years and i have an interest rate of 3.2 percent I will end up with a future value of $7,000 after the five years.